Hello everybody and welcome back. Yes, here we are again. And um, just carrying right on, we threw the, remember in the last clip, we threw the bat pad for a bat. And it's necessary sometimes to, be, to do that because not every wheel has bat pins on it. So what we're going to do is carrying on making the friendly flan, as I call it. Um, remember, it's got the side here, so it's quite nice for scooping against the, the side of the dish with your fork and into your mouth. <laughs> so I'm going to do that now. I've got some clay here weighed up. We've got, um, look at my card here. Yeah, we've got two pounds and Eight and eight and three eighths. I think it's telling me. Let me just check that because sometimes my writing Yeah. Remember of course everything that you make from the time that it's wet clay on the wheel to the time that it's been dried out, bisque fired, and then finally fired, shrinks considerably. And this is now measuring seven and a half. And yet it's telling me it was thrown eight and three eighths wide. That's if I was accurate. <laughs> if I was accurate when I did it. I'm actually going to I'm actually going to make them a wee bit bigger. I'm going to make them eight and a half, I think, because I think that dish could benefit by being just a, a fraction bigger. So, without further ado, let's bring let's bring the camera in a bit close here, closer, and then you can see see what I'm, I'm trying to do here. All right, there you have it. So I've got I've got here some some water that is warm. This is a two pound lump of clay. Um, in all honesty, it's a bit stiff. For what I really would like, I would like it to be not so stiff. Anyway, so here's my my bat. I'm just going to put that down on there. Okay, and we're just going to center him up. There you are, on center. Learn to train your eye to be able to see when something is on centre or not. Don't depend on mechanical centering devices. Say no more about that. Okay. Um, so there we have that. Take your lump of clay and make sure the bottom of the clay is nice and rounded like that, okay? And you can do this a little bit on the wheel head before you finally throw it down, just to get it, get it like that. Smack him down. When you centre a lump of clay, when you put a lump of clay on the wheel, let's imagine Let's imagine that you throw him down and you don't make a very good of job at um, getting him on centre because you haven't been down the pub playing darts and you don't know where the bullseye is. And let's say you, you centre him like that. Don't try, don't try now to, to centre that, okay? That's, that's not a good idea. Take it, put it nearer the centre. And if you don't manage to get it quite where you want it, you can just pull it a little bit 
just to make it easier for you when you, you know, when you come to put the water and your hands on it, onto it. Of course, the first thing you're going to have to do is to seal seal the clay to the wheel head, and that's very important because if you don't do that, then the, the clay is going to is going to go scooting off. I'll tell you what I'm going to do with this lump of clay because it's a little bit stiff. I'm going to cone it up a couple of times rather than just the one time. So I'm kind of, I'm working the clay a little bit up and down before I start throwing it really. Now you really don't want to be throwing with clay that is too stiff because number one it's just a lot of extra hard work. So I'm sort of centering this lump now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to break in now, go down, and then we're going to move the clay across. Okay, so here we go. I'm, I'm breaking in. Now, when I'm doing this, I'm also, I'm also judging the thickness through the base. And you can take your needle tool Well, I've got plenty of clay there, too much, so I've got to go down a bit deeper. When you're doing a flat shape, like a, a flan dish, you don't want to waste clay by having the, the base too thick, because being wide as it is, you're going to use up quite a lot of your clay lump if it is too, too thick in the base. So, yeah, that's better. That's about a quarter of an inch, plenty. Well, then I take my ruler while I'm here and just see how far we've got to go. I've got to go so a bit further yet. But the shape is V-shaped, so that may be wide enough at the base. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, is lift, lift the wall here, you see. Like that. So let's measure that now. Well, that's almost eight. So we've got nearly half, a bit more than half an inch to go. You see my hands are working together, my left hand, my right hand, they're also, they're touching, you see, they're in, they, they work together. They're not like this, you see, independent, they're, they're touching. So when you throw, try where, whenever you can, to touch your hands across, bridge across, you see, bridge across. All right, so. I'm gonna pull it up like that, I'm gonna just slightly taper the, the rim and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll it over like this, you see. I want this dish to have a nice robust lip and there we are we're now eight and a half so 
and the height was supposed to be two and a quarter. Well, the height is not quite there, not quite. We need a little bit more height, so I'm going to go down into the base there and try and dig out some more clay, you know, from the bottom and bring up the wall. It's lifting up the wall now. There it goes. What's that giving us? Yeah, that's two and a quarter. And it is... Oh, I've gone a little bit wide now. It's gone a little wider than I... I wanted. Okay, that's good. Now... I've been using a sponge on a stick here, as you can see. This is a real natural sponge, and this is what happens with natural sponges after a while. The natural sponge begins to disintegrate. Probably a good idea not, not to leave your sponge in your water pot, okay, when you finish throwing, if you're going to use one of these. It's a good idea in any case, when you finish throwing, don't leave your tools in your water pot. So, what I'm actually going to do is, I'm going to set up a gauge here. Gauge, a gauge, a gauge. If I can find one. Okay, I've got a piece of, I'm just going to stick this here like that, you see. Only about an eighth of an inch or a sixteenth of an inch away from the, away from the edge. Alright, okay, so we sponged out the bottom. Going to use the throwing stick now on the outside here. Uh -huh. Just touch the gauge there on the on my rolled rim. Okay, I'm going to use my my throwing stick. You notice I put my hand on the inside, and I just take the stick down the outside like that, just to clear the the surface and I put a bevel a bevel underneath there I'm making a few of these so I'm setting up a gauge and You see, I've gouged it again. <laughs> yeah, when you're setting up, you know, to do a batch of, of work, you know, you find that the first one that you do, you've got to set up, set the scene, as it were, get everything ready. And um, sometimes some niggling little annoyances happen like that. Okay, now I've got a leather here. I usually just use a piece of leather like this. I'm, um, that's how I usually work, just with a piece of leather. Um, a regular piece of leather. But um, somebody kindly sent me, somebody kindly sent me this. So thank you Terry for sending me this uh, gift of a a cork piece of red material there with the leather 
So I'm going to use that. That works very well. The thing about this is, this you can throw it in your water pot and it always floats, you see, and you see the red, the red thing there so you never lose it. Well, I usually, with my piece of leather, I just put it on the side there. And that also, if you're, you know, in the habit of putting it back in the same place, it's, it's good. Sometimes it, this is, this is quite good though, isn't it? So, there we go. All right, there's number one. Okay, so we're going to take my cutoff wire. Make sure your cutoff wire is clean. Stretch it. Use your thumbs to control the wire push down okay and because I've got a gauge I can't pull towards me I'm going to cut away from me all right so we're going to cut him off and so there he is um, the bevel, the bevel here on the bottom, you see, makes it easier to thumb this off afterwards because these, these flan dishes are not trimmed. Okay, they're just thumbed off like that. So if you've got a nice bevel here on the corner, which you put there with your throwing stick, you, that'll, that'll become easy for you later when you come to, when you come to thumb them off. So, always try to put a bevel on the bottom of your pot. So, next. Now, between bats, sometimes it's necessary to just damp this pad a little bit because. the wood of the bat sucks a bit of moisture out of the pad. So I sometimes just lightly moisturize that bat again. We're going to then take the bat, drop him down, use my mechanical centering device, otherwise known as a hand, to get him on center. Okay, just damp the bat a little bit and work. And we're good to go for the next one. So, and there he is. I'm going to get on now and do some more of these and uh, we'll um, yeah I'm gonna do a few more in fact what I've got to do is I've got to go and um, I'm recycling some clay so probably in the next clip I'm going to be in fact out in the studio there and I've got to get some clay out of the out of the bins and put it on some plaster bats and I've also got to light the bisque kiln so join me for that one <laughs> hey hang on in there and keep practicing okay don't be too hard on yourself you can do it bye for now